Hey folks, it's Greg Salmon here, and I'm here today with Steve Legg, founder and designer for Stinger Foils, and today we're going to talk about design, progression, and uh, what's going on today. So uh, Steve, tell us a little bit about our first generation. So, thanks Greg. So what happened is uh, back in 2017, we started with our first uh, foil that we came up with, you know, big, thick, front leaning edge, not very wide. But uh, being this way with the cord length, nice and stable. So because foiling was like standing on a uni ball, so we tried to make it easier. Yeah, that was a, that was back where everything was back then, and now we've you advanced into the second generation. Let's take a look yep. at that. So we came up with a much wider, and we offer it for in two different sizes because we only had one. So we came up a couple sizes. Whether you're in wake surf world or whether you're in SUP world, you had a fairly thick front leaning edge still, right, to give us nice easy lift. And basically the difference was somebody weighing 180 pounds or less was gonna ride on the Stingray and somebody weighing 180 pounds and more, like myself, would weigh, be riding on the Manta Ray. Uh, we also offered a different tail wing designs. Uh, this is more for SUP uh, to dip in and grab a little more edge. And then with the Stingray, you'll see it's flatter, and that was more in the wake surf world to be able to slide or get the yaw out of a plane kind of idea. And then we uh, moved on to the third generation. <laughs> you wanted faster, and uh, so off we went with that one. And up along comes the new Devil Ray. And uh, as you can see to, see to start with, right away, the, you'll see the gullwing design instead of one big long arc. And, um, well, Greg's first comment to me when he got out there, he says, holy Dinah, I can nail this going into the pocket in and out. And that was the idea with the gullwing design so you could get some grip as he went into a turn and then came out of a turn. Yeah, really fast accelerating out of the turn. It almost creates enough speed as if you're pumping when you carve with this thing. It just releases so well. And, um, yeah, it's definitely a stable, much faster, but also much easier to ride in, a, in many ways as well, this new design. So the, the first two wings were basically considered somewhat of a low to the very starting edge of medium aspect. And now we're hearing all these comments, oh, we're gonna have high aspect, this and that. And you know what, guys? It's true, but there's only probably two wings out there in the world right now that are truly high aspect, like a glider plane, super narrow, super wide, and fast and stable. What we have here is 1550. This is our free ride, most all around foil. And then you can do things, and as you see in our tail wing design, you've got another gull wing. And um, Greg, why, what made this so important to you from going for our flat wings? Yeah, this, to our... this new tail wing definitely, uh, having turned up edges, allows it to carve really nice. And not only that, have flow from carve to carve in that in between transition. And that really feels nice when you just switch it from edge to edge. Uh, basically, with this, with this tail, we've uh, incorporated cants. And you can put these to give you a one degree or a two degree cant, which will give you more rise for different conditions and, say, your different weight categories. Yeah. So someone ahead. like me that's a little heavier, I might need a little more lift for the front. And so I'll put one degree underneath just to give me that extra lift. But if it's windy and it's fast, I take it out because... I now have a wing that go 25 miles an hour, and if I'm up on the wind wing flying along, you know, I'm cruising flat water. Greg's riding waves. He needs he needs to turn it down because he's going down the way the line so fast. So there's a multiple ways of setting up your foils and what you want to do. And you know what? We're gonna get into that in our next video. I want to thank Greg for taking time to be here with us. Tune in. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have any questions or comments. Please put them on there or send me an email at steve at stingerfoils.com. And as always, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you again next time.